desk. The clerk will designate the amendment. Number eight, printed in Part A of House Report Number 113-271, offered by Mr. DeFazio of Oregon. Pursuant to House Resolution 419, the gentleman from Oregon, Mr. DeFazio, and a member opposed, each will control five minutes. The chair recognizes the gentleman from Oregon. Uh, much of the uh, majority's argument here is based on uh, providing relief to the American consumer, and this amendment would provide a real and uh, potentially immediate relief to American consumers. Two years ago uh, in the Senate, uh, in the spring, when we were having a big run-up in oil prices, uh, they had the uh, head of ExxonMobil testify, and he said, hey, don't blame us for those high prices. He said, blame Wall Street. He basically said that 60 to 70 cents per gallon at the pump is going to Wall Street speculators. So if we want to provide real relief to the American people, we need to rein in speculation. But the Republicans, we've only got one watchdog out there, Commodity Future Trading Commission. They're supposed to set up position limits for non-participants, you know, people who are just speculating on price, not people who actually use, utilize uh, these commodities. Uh, that hasn't been done. And they're otherwise under relenting attack, including a $10 million cut in their budget by the Republicans. So if we really wanted to do something, to help consumers, we would pass this amendment, get a few more watchdogs downtown, put in place those position limits on speculators, and next May you wouldn't see prices run up a buck, a buck and a quarter, buck fifty a gallon like we see every May. Uh, that has to do with two things, refinery manipulation by the industry and speculation by Wall Street. We're not addressing either of those things. Today we're talking about putting more land up for leasing, but today, uh, you know, we have a total of 35,397,010 acres of active leases, and the non-producing leases are 30,019,256, i.e., you know, that's about, you know, 85% of the leases are non-producing leases. They've got plenty of places to go now. Uh, it's in their interest to constrain uh, supply somewhere along the way. Uh, it hasn't been on the side of production because we're exporting uh, crude oil. We're still exporting gasoline even. Uh, it has been on the refinery side and has been speculation by Wall Street that's driven up the price. I urge adoption of this amendment reserve the balance of my time.